What's going on everybody? I'm YouTube's ProPJN. Welcome to the Beginner's Guide. Um, a game about a game developer from what I hear. Um, this got suggested to me. I, I'm really sorry I don't remember your name, but someone in my messages, my YouTube messages, recommended this game to me. And they said to do it in one sitting. They said that you get the full impact within one sitting. So I am going to do this in one sitting. It's probably going to be a long video, but that's okay. Grab some popcorn, just sit down, and let's go on this journey together of the beginner's guide. Alright, alright. Make sure audio is on. Yeah. It's up. It's good. It's good. WASD, like any other PC game. <laughs> All right. Hi there. Thank you Hi. very much for playing the beginner's guide. My name there's is no, Davey Reed. I wrote the Stanley Parable, and oh, that tells the Stanley a Parable. Story, I've played that. Today, I'm going to tell you about a series of events that happened. I'm sorry, there's no subtitles. And 2011. 2008 2001, okay. We're going to look at the games made by a friend of mine named Coda. Coda. Now, these games mean a lot to me. Uh, I met Coda in early 2009 at a time when I was really struggling with some personal stuff. Okay. And his work pointed me in a very powerful direction. I found it to be a good reference point for the kinds of creative works that I wanted to make. So just to start you off, this is, I think, the first game he ever made. Oh, is it's this from Counter-Strike? You can ah, walk around yeah. here, by the way. Oh, and look. Uh, mostly it's just Coda learning the basics of building a 3D environment. That is so what cool! Like is that even though he starts from the simple aesthetic of a desert town, he then scatters these colorful abstract blobs oh, and wow. impossible floating crates around the level. And of course, it destroys Whoa. the illusion that this actually is a desert town, and instead this level becomes a kind of calling card from its creator. It's like a reminder that this video game was constructed wow. by a real person. And it kind of makes you wonder, what was going through his head as he was building this? Yeah. This is what I like about all of Coda's games. I mean, this not is so they're cool. All fascinating as games, but that they are all going to give us access to their creator. I want us to see past the games themselves. I want to get to know who this human being really is. Yeah. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. So. It's 2008, Coda starts making these games, and he never releases How cool anything. is this? He doesn't put them onto the internet, he just makes them and then immediately abandons them and they sit on his computer. Oh, why? And I think he That's really understood this image of himself as a recluse. Uh, at one point, he jokingly renamed his computer's recycling bin to Important Games Folder. So, uh -huh. you know, this was just how he worked. He tended to crank them out one after the other without even really pausing to try to understand what he That's just really made. sad that he didn't Until suddenly launch these. one day, he just stopped. In 2011, wow. that was it. He made his last game, and then he hasn't made another one since. That's and really that's sad. that's why I've taken this opportunity to gather all of his work together. is because I find his games powerful and interesting, and I'd like this collection to reach him, to maybe encourage him to start creating again. Yeah. And if the people like you who play this also happen to find his work interesting, then I'm sure it'll just send that much stronger of a message of encouragement to Coda. So, so thanks cool. for joining me on this. If you have a particular interpretation that I haven't mentioned here, or if you just need to get in touch, you can email me at d-a-v-e-y-w-r-e-d-e-n at gmail.com. Okay, that's about it for introduction. Okay. Let's take a look at Coda's first proper game. All As right. each game is loading, I'll show you the date that it was completed. This first one was made in November 2008. Okay. Wow, that's really sad that he creates these, whoa, wonderful games and then abandons them. I mean, look at all the details. It's so good. Whoa, what? Jesus! <laughs> Scared the fuck out of me! <laughs> This game oh, there's is no, there's no sound. From Whisper, and it's one of the more generic games you'll see from Coda. Uh, light, white, white side. What the fuck? Okay, other side. Why is there no sound to the gun? Where's the enemies? Are they all gonna be like piled at the end? 
Bam, 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 bam. Security call breached. Hostile alien life force inbound. This is so cool. It kind of looks like this game was abandoned mid development. For instance, you have this gun, which you'd think would indicate that there are supposed to be monsters or enemies somewhere. Yeah, but then where clearly are they? there are no enemies anywhere. Uh, you can't okay. even reload the gun when you run out of bullets. Uh. But ultimately, we don't really know. Maybe Coda thought that actually it was complete the way that it is. And I think that we should talk wow. about his games for what they are, rather than for what they're not. Such cool detail. So cool. Whisper machine status active. Evacuate immediately. You can see the bottom of the universe from this room. Oh, really? <laughs> that's cool. That's a nice touch. Where do I go? Oh, okay. It's like get smart, like the starting when you go. Oh god. Apparently, this space station has a labyrinth on it. I. Uh... Sure, I don't know. There's the really game, no reason for it that I've the ever game's been able to discern, little, so in the interest of time, I'm just going to skip you on past it. Ah, okay. Thank you, Davey. Okay, this is the part that's interesting. The game has this narrative about the whisper machine and how it has to be turned off, yes. and then you get to the engine room. Whoa. Hey, you there, in the engine room. You could save us all. That beam is powering a whisper machine. We could disrupt it by introducing a great enough heat signature. Okay. You, your body could stop the beam. It's so much to ask, but for all of our lives, would you do it? Could sacrifice you myself? You want me to sacrifice myself? Oh, God. Oh, God. Let me pause here for a second. What you just experienced, stepping into the beam and then dying, is right. probably what Coda had initially intended when he was developing this level. But when he first compiles and plays it, something goes wrong. There's a bug somewhere. And this is what happens instead. What happens instead? Ah, oh, do it again? Okay. Go! What? Oh! God! Look at me, Ma! I'm flying! I'm flying! Whoa, that's so cool. Floating. And this is an important moment for him. That's because so yes, cool this that is maze. Technically a glitch, but Coda identifies something human about it, like how small it makes you feel in the face of this larger chaotic system. Yeah, or look at all the details he did. A peaceful place juxtaposed against all of the hysteria that you've just had to traverse. I, I don't even know. Uh, I have no idea what he was thinking, but what's clear is that after making this, Something lodges itself in his brain. Wow. He wants to do more of these really weird and experimental designs. So he stops work on this and moves on to a stream of tiny little games that go in all sorts of directions. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first game he made after leaving this one behind. All right. He's really talented. I mean, that that game was real. Okay. That game was really cool. The past was behind her. Why is W not working? A S R. Oh, yep. Uh, In this game, you what? can only walk backwards. Oh, really? That's cool. That's a cool concept. Oh, that's so cool. That like you have to keep looking. That's so cool. Oh. So it's a short and but the future could not be seen. Experiment combining motion and narrative. It okay. is less advanced than the Keep previous changing. game, but actually it seems to be what more focused, more complete. Code is trying to give it a unique Why voice rather than simply changing? basing it on a pre-existing trope. So the game is like you keep looking into the past while you go while you go into your future. When she stops and looks, it becomes clearer. Oh. Hang on. But if the future is always behind her, how will she find the strength to confront it? It's a short little thought, it says what it wants to say, and then That's it ends. so cool. Didn't need anything more than that. 
which to me is why it works because it's yeah. so quick. Okay, next one. Wow. November 2008. Oh god, is this a horror game? Oh, uh, this is creep. You are now entering. Oh, this is creepy. And that's it. Okay, the meaning uh. of this game won't be clear just yet. Please be patient with me for a few more games, and I promise you'll see what makes it interesting. Okay. Wow. December 2008. This is cool to go into... Oftentimes, Coda would put bizarre titles like this one at the start Nonsense of his games. Nonsense in nearly every direction. Oh, wow. It's so cool to I'd go into the... the time that he was making these early games. He would really only talk to me about his work as he was making it. Once he stopped yeah. work on a game, like, that was it. It was dead to him. And I don't agree with that at all, but what are you gonna do? Alright. It's cool to go into the mind of a creative person. That's so cool. Am I- why am I slowing up? Why? Once you've been slowed to an absolute what? crawl, the door at the top of the stairs opens. So why, if Code is not showing these games to anyone, why bother opening the door at all? Well, what? to show you, I'm modifying the game here so that when you press enter, it'll bring you back up to full speed so you can enter the door for yourself. Press enter? Ah, oh, so he's gone, he's gone back, altered the game so that you can see what he's hiding, kind of. Oh, this room's cool! Oh my god, what? You walk around talk, talking people down from pursuing their hopes and dreams. The game is nothing but giant blocks of text explaining what's happening. And nice and filled with little ideas for games. Wow. A button you press to stop the chaos that doesn't work. Coda would often tell me that he didn't mind if people thought of him as cold or distant. He said that he knew that he was this actually a vibrant and compassionate person, but that it takes time to really see that. It can be a very slow climb to get there. You start in a small room until you realize you can just walk through the walls. This isn't just January 2009. It also gives you an insight into what's going on in his mind. And this is Ready, Set, Fish. And that's, I think that's what's really powerful about this game at the moment. Wow. Okay. Well, this is new for Coda. It's an actual okay. puzzle. Go ahead ah. and see if you can solve it. I'm clicking. What do I do? I have to like walk myself in there? I don't know. Oh, there's another one! Okay. Don't forget that solution because we're going to see the oh, again soon. That's we're really nifty! That's really nifty! That's cool. Don't forget that. Okay. Keep it. Mental note, everybody, please. Remind me. So that seems to be it, right? Yeah. You walk down a corridor, you solve a puzzle, you get to the end. Simple enough. He's right. so good at creating now I'm stuff. Now going to modify the game again, so that when you press enter, it'll remove all of the walls from this room. Okay. Enter. What? What? How about that? There was more to it than we had any way of knowing. I actually find it funny wow. that this game comes after the stairs game, since they essentially convey the opposite idea. So, uh, in the stairs game, a dull exterior concealed a rich interior. And then, in this level, a dull interior hides this fantastic outer Wow. Level. 
Either way, I think that the point is the same. Is that most of the Can we time jump you get from to one to the other? You're missing, or right. even that you're missing anything. That's not your role as a player. So if your role here is not to wow. understand, then what is it? And he made all of this. He made like a giant game and he never finished. January 2009, okay. It's just, it's really, uh, it hits home a lot for especially like content creators on YouTube because it is really, it goes through the creative process and it's explaining how it really does play on your mind to do very creative stuff. And I, I appreciate that, that, that uh, Davey released this. You are now exiting. Aha. Uh -huh. So, this, combined with the entering game from earlier, yeah. tells us that Coda believes his games are connected somehow. It could yeah. even be that the stairs game and the puzzle game are literally connected in between this and the entering game. There's a bigger picture that all of his games are meant to play a role in some larger meaning that we won't be able to grasp until we've seen all of them. And once we have, we can step back and start to understand what exactly that bigger picture is. March 2009. So two months this time. Okay. The Great and Lovely Descent. That ha that's cool. That is so cool. Let's talk about video game development for a second. Yeah. Every video game runs on what's called an engine, which determines what the yes. game can and cannot do. Right. So in other words, the engine is a set of tools for game development. Streetwise fool. To make all of these games, Coda is using an engine called Source. Oh, wow. Well. Like all engines, Source has certain things that it does well, and it has certain things that it does poorly. One of okay. the things that it does very well is boxy linear corridors. That's why so many of Coda's games are set in these large, flat, empty rooms, is oh, just because whoa. he's working with what the engine does well. What the fuck? That's so cool. The tools available to the creator shape okay. what kinds of creative work they're Oh, I can jump from one to the making. other. You might consider paying attention to the architecture in Coda's games to notice how they seem to stem from an ah, that's very ah. good at producing linear boxy corridors. What happens if I just drop off? Oh. Jump it! Ah! Oh, I don't die. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 I fell, I fell, I fell. Whoa. Holy crap, that's cool. What's down here? Wow. This guy was really good at games. Whoa, what? What the f- Okay. Alright, whoa! prison, funny enough, in Coda's original design, the door stayed shut for a full hour before letting you go. Wow. If you don't mind, I think we're gonna skip that. Okay. This is something that he and I used to argue about a lot. You know, whether a game ought to actually be playable, whether it means anything if no one can get through it. And I would always defend that, you know, all this work goes into the game, why not make it playable and accessible? And 
And yeah. so we just got into heated arguments over it. And there was one time that after one of these conversations, he went home and a day or two later, he sent me a zip file entitled Playable Games that was full of hundreds of individual games. Hundreds. Each of which was just an empty box that you walked around in and nothing else. Believe me, I played every single one of those just to find out if there was like a gag hidden somewhere. There wasn't. Wow. He creates really cool content. This is amazing. Let's just appreciate this for a second, everyone. I mean, look at how cool this is. Oh, I wish I was a... I wish I could develop really cool looking games like this. I really do. It's the puzzle again. Ah. With the exact same solution as the last time. Okay. I almost forgot. <laughs> There's still no clear indication of what makes this puzzle so special that Coda wow. is going to return to it over and over. But I promise I'll share with you my interpretation very shortly. Look at how great this is. I mean, what a creative person, and it sucks that uh, he said that at the beginning that Coda's no longer making games, that he's kind of just dropped off the map. That's really sad, because all of these games have really high potential. Oh my god, what the fuck are you? Listen. Oh, you there? Did Here you come from up above? Using a kind of dialogue system what that was you fashioned there? out of the engine's chat capabilities. Okay. Use the one, two, three buttons on your keyboard to respond. Okay. You there? Did you come up from above? What was up there? Yes, there was a world stamped with whiteness. Yes, there was an enormous prison I spent hours in. Yes. There were these floating color blocks, uh, two. That's the world above? You have been there? Now this is important. Did you have to get through a puzzle with two doors and switches? Yes. Again, perfect. Now please tell us how you solved it. Tell us the solution. Tell us how to get to the other side. don't remember. Uh, trust me, you don't want to go over there. Oh no, but I do. We do. We need to get there. Do you understand? This is the most important thing in the world. We have to escape this prison. There must be an ending. I promise you, there is nothing I want more. Oh, another door opened. Cut. Bye guys. Wow. What? Just three people sitting. Did I just do this? Did I do it wrong? Hello, how'd you get here? Was it a puzzle you had to pass? Yes. We actually find the blank space between the doors to be far more interesting. Have you seen it yet? Why would I care about the space between the doors? Actually, now that you mention it, I remember feeling strange as I passed through it. I don't recall the space with the doors? Don't worry, I'm sure you will visit it again soon. Be sure to pay close attention. Wow. Another door? Yep. This is really interesting to see the evolution of a game maker and everything. And he builds the most beautiful things. And so we make one last descent down to the final floor of the level. Okay. 
for Final Four. Oh, it's a lamp post. And buildings. It's a what lamp do I do? Post. Oh. Okay, I can't tell you quite why, but for some reason, Coda fixates on this lamp post. It's going to appear at the end of every single one of his games from here on out. Oh, really? I'll tell you what I think. What's the meaning? Uh, I think that up to this point, you know, he's been making really strange and abstract games with no clear purpose. Wow. And maybe you can only float around in that headspace for so long. Because now he wants something to hold on to. He wants a reference point. He wants the work to be leading to something. Yeah. He wants a destination. Which is what this lamppost is. It's a destination. Right. We're going to see it in the work as well. His games are just going to become a lot more cohesive, a lot more fully developed, with more of a clear idea behind them. And as we go, that idea will get clearer and clearer and clearer. Okay. Right. April 29. This game is connected to the internet. As you walk around, you can leave notes. All notes you see left by are left by other players. Nice room, not. Is he talking? So first is... off, I'm sure you can deduce this, but this game is not connected to the internet. All yeah, of the notes okay. that you're gonna see have been written by Coda. This was actually the first game of his that How I ever played. How do you beat this game? This was shortly after I met him at a weekend game jam in Sacramento. He's criticizing I himself. I saw what him the working hell? on this very level, and it was just so different from anything oh that God. anyone else was doing. So right away I was like, I have to be friends with this person. No In retrospect, this. I think I was probably a bit too pushy trying to get his attention. Uh, I was over enthusiastic. Oh my god! But he was very gracious them. about it and very patient with me. And I cooled off eventually. Whoa! Holy shit! <laughs> Can you guys hear me? Wow. Hello. Oh, feel free to skip Reasonable. over any of these notes if they're not doing anything for you. Nothing extra is going to happen if you read all of them. Either way, to me, they convey a sense of loneliness. Yeah. I see this person who's filled with thoughts and Can we just jump feelings no. and beliefs and has no way to express them except as scattered and unheard voices in a game that wasn't meant to be played. Yeah. Look at this note that he wrote to himself. I'd rather be which I'd rather be but doing ironic, literally anything it? other than playing, playing this game and seeing how alone Coda often felt that we get to know him better and actually kind of connect with him. And I have to uh, be honest with you, this idea is really seductive to me that I could just play someone's game and see the voices in their head and, and get to know them better and have to do less of the messy in person socializing. This summer, I could just get to know you through your work. I think this is why I always liked Coda's games so much, is because it felt like they let me have that connection. Yeah. I felt as though he was inviting me personally into his world. Yeah. And then I feel less lonely too. <laughs> let me read this one, you ready? In a world full of notes, one man will read all of them. This summer, you will believe blue speech bubbles can talk. I mean, even though it is conveying that sense of loneliness, he's still doing some things that are humorous. Do you feel like a hero yet? Alright, I'm not gonna be able I'm not gonna read all of these because there's way too many of them. So I'm just gonna highlight a couple and then you can read them and then I'll move on. Maybe hit pause if you wanna watch them. And read them. Wow, this is very sad at the same time as 
It's like a really cool level, but it's so sad as well. I refuse to believe. <laughs> butt ass butt. I need to go to the frickin' bathroom. Recognize me, please. There's nothing here. Go back. Don't listen to that guy. <laughs> wow. Free t-shirt! Need other side. Door white. Make game. Includes door. Can't open door. Thanks. Open sesame? Door how open. Oh, there's more. Okay. Wow. Oh my god. This is so cool. Like, so cool. Hundreds and hundreds of these. That's an interesting point. What does the painting mean? <clears throat> it's a very cool painting. Wow. I'm sorry as well if I'm not if I'm not speaking that much. I'm just in awe about this. I really am. Sorry. His terrible secret, he kept it well. I beat the game. More room. At the end of this level, we're going to see the puzzle again. Okay. And here, I'll tell you what I think the puzzle means. Each of these games represents an idea that was on Coda's mind at the time that he was making it. Yes. And the puzzle is a way of closing the door on a previous chapter ah. of its life before moving on to the next yeah. one. Yeah. In each of his games, after exploring a theme that, you know, he might find difficult, Coda can then place this puzzle that he knows has a reliable solution, he understands exactly how it works, and so it gives him a simple mechanism for moving on. Am I hearing the voices of the notes? That's very creepy. And because there's this dark area between the doors, a space between spaces, Let me before you move on, you get to pause. Heading back to the start. Just for a moment, a few seconds to reflect on and let so go of the here. events that led you here. No solution. To step back and connect the pieces together. No second to grasp at that elusive bigger picture. Wow. What is that, typewriters? Head. How do you leave notes? <laughs> Are these typewriters? Whoa. And the lamppost. Are you there? Please say something. It can be anything. I just need I just need you to say something. Please talk, please. Wow. That got oh. May to June 2009. Wow. Okay, this one is tough. It's Porn gonna kinda just too. spin its own wheels for a few minutes. Hang with it. Okay. What do I... What do I do? Okay. Look at how good he is at designing, like, houses and everything. I mean, that's, that's so cool. That last level, though... That, Oh, that isolation feeling, very creepy. It creeped me out a lot. 
Look at this. Bit of funky music as well. Wow. Where's this going? Outside? See, like, this is it. The whole game. And there's oh, nothing really? that's particularly interesting about it. You just walk to the end of a hallway. Except, for some reason, Coda gets really fixated on this prison that has all of this modern furniture. And I don't know why, but he decides he needs to revisit this prison. He's Is this the well over, use that the was outside? Assets, turn it into something else. Okay, cool. Here's version two. Okay, version two. Whoa. What? What furniture out to go in the center of the room? Uh, how about TV? But <laughs> I said TV, not table. What should go on the wall? I really like a washing machine. <laughs> now you get a couch. What do you think? Uh, skylight? A table. You need a table. Tables were invented in 1935. Whoa. There's a bit more to this one, but still, it's not really communicating anything. It, it's kind of just weird for weirdness' sake. Yeah. What do I do? So, okay, ah, he throws it okay. out and starts over. This time he comes at the prison idea from a different direction. Okay. How I please walk forward? Am I at the well? Where's the well? This guide will enable you to escape any prison environment. Follow the instructions carefully. Take care. Take care that you remember each step. First, click on this table. Whoa, good. Over the photo frame and click it slightly. Now turn the floor lamp in this room off and turn it back on. Now go to the left left side sofa, move it a little. Okay. Finally touch the shelves. That's it. In a real prison, the escape will open. Return to the start to be taken back to your prison. Return. <laughs> That's funny. Wow. And of course, now what? the table is gone and you can't begin the chain of events to escape. Yeah. Okay. Here's a version where there are no bars, but you can't actually get to the well. And then a version where the inside of the prison is the outside Whoa. and the outside is the inside. Let me just blink you real quick through a few more of these. I mean, he really unloaded on this Whoa. prison idea. There's nearly a dozen of them. Personally, I think it's awful to watch this. To see a person basically unraveling through their work. And for what? Like, at what point do you just go, eh, maybe there are game ideas other than this prison that I could be working on. But Coda doesn't have that voice He's telling so you to fixated stop. on the prison, that it is sad. That particular that he's stuck in this state of mind. Yourself. Without it, you just spiral. And so he keeps going and going and going and going and going. And then he hits on something. And he likes it. And that's it. He's done. He stops making prisons. This is the very last version of the prison game that he created. And the reason I think it works is that the prison is not actually in it. Whoa. What? Is that a telephone box? Why'd the music just change? Okay. 
Hello. Who is this? Hey, it's me. I'm you from after you escaped the prison. You're me? So you were trapped in this prison too? It's a conversation. And so this is yeah. what Coda wants, is to be able in the to furniture talk to, maze. to share what's on his mind, and to get some good advice from someone who knows. That's where I'm right now. But the irony oh, I'm is so that even in this you scenario, you're eventually. still talking to yourself. Until you know, escape. all of these games so far are Coda talking to himself. Uh, it's strange, but in a way, I kind of miss being in prison. It feels like being completely still and wildly in motion at the same time. Do you feel any different? Sometimes I'm scared I'll get out and then things will be exactly the same as before. It actually does change. Good. That's so nice to hear. That makes me feel happy. Wow, this is, <laughs> this is getting very deep. I'm starting to kind of tear up a little. Um, remember to enjoy being who you are right now. It won't last. Wait, if you're me, then did you get a call from another version of you when you were trapped? Yes. What did they tell you? What did you have to do to get out? We just talked about me for a while. What? That freed you? How does that free you? It'll make sense. Okay, I can talk. Let's just talk for a bit. Will you be here? I will be here for as long as you need. I can see why he considers this a fitting conclusion to the prison games. Yeah. After all of the obsession and frustration, just to be told by someone you can trust that things are going to be okay, wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, it would. <coughs> August 2009. Whew. This game's starting to hit me real deep. Um, August 2009. So what would it look like if Coda wanted to make a game about talking to someone other than himself? He's so good at making these houses. To me, this environment is meant to represent Coda's puzzle. With the two doors on either side, and a dark yeah. transitional space between. Oh. Hi. Well, my goodness. I'm glad as heck you showed up. I thought I might have be having to clean the entire house by myself. And right and right miserable You'll notice that, that the been. quality of the art is a step up from previous games. Yeah. Including this new and improved chat system, which he started using from this point on. From here on out, he begins putting much this music more effort into the visual polish of his work. And this particular game took two months to create as a result. A place as nice as this, I'll be glad to stay here all night. Well, now you might just be a little bit ahead of yourself there, no? Why don't you start cleaning and then the side of uh, you, you could do this or not. I'll finish up here. Can you clear the table? Done. Much nicer. Run into the bedroom and make the bed. Okay. That's the bathroom. That's the bedroom. Very nice. Straighten up the rug. Okay. Do you enjoy being a house cleaner? Well, I don't enjoy it as much as I need it. While I'm working, I feel kind of calm and it rests in a bit of my ribcage, in the pit of my ribcage. 
My soul can't be soothed any other way, it seems. Which I... Which I guess is all that matters. That and the tidy couch. Would you mind straightening the pillows? Wow. Looks like uh, someone spilled a drink over the couch. Clean that. I feel compelled to share an, incredi an incredibly cheesy personal insight. Are you okay with that? Stupid, sorry. Never mind. These dishes need to be washed. Okay. Check if the tub needs cleaning. Alright. There's books scattered on the floor in the bedroom. Okay. Are those real books? Clear those dishes off the After table. The intense set of I just did games, that. This house cleaning level almost feels like cleansing. It's yeah. the moment after a particularly difficult or traumatic experience where you just need to let it sit and digest inside of you, and eventually cohere into something meaningful. Do these chores ever end? Wow. Let me tell you something. Whatever work you do. You have to absolutely go to own, got to own it. Otherwise, it owns you. So why don't you I know that take the really task at hand? Of all of his work, actually, this was the only one that he called me up to ask me to come over and look at it. This was during a period of a few months where he was like grossly happy all the time, just yeah, walked I can around see with the a transition. constant smile on his face. So why don't you be with the task at hand and leave the furniture chores to future you? Present, present you wants to smooth out the rug in the bedroom, believe it or not. Trust me on this one. Looks like the tub got rather dirty. Okay. Earlier, when I said I had something, I had a really cheesy thought, I was going to say that it occurs to me that one's house is a lot like one's soul. You take care of it, and it takes care of you. Don't know why I felt so weird about saying that. But there's truth in it. Anyway, so, housekeeping, let's keep doing this. Books, go clean the books. Those pillows on the couch are ruined. I'm glad, you, this. I'm glad yeah. you found some peace. So am I. It's really nice. Question. But, of course, it this? can't last. The music stops, your companion is gone, it's time Whoa. to leave. The door at the top of the hill is now open as well. Again, you can't stay in the dark space for too long. You just can't. You have to keep moving. It's how you stay alive. Okay. That was really nice. After after the isolation episode uh episodes, after the isolation levels and everything, it that was that was really nice to see that he he had some peace. There's a lamppost. Which is the whole point of the puzzle doors, right? That sooner or later you have to pick up and move. Yeah. I really thought that was the point of it. September 2009. This I don't see love at members only pieces. Why'd you come here today? 
Was it to improve your life? Was it to get a better job? Was it to make your relationships more meaningful? No. You came here to become perfect. This workshop is going to teach you how to be perfect. I want your friends, the people in your life, to look at you and think, Wow, this person is a better human than I am. Right now, who do you think about... Uh, who do you think about the that way in your own life? Okay. Yeah. Perfection is within your grasp. And the question is not how do we do it, but how do we do it so effort effortlessly? That is easy. It's so About easy. About halfway through the game, the perspective shifts. Yeah. Oh. So this is... And you play uh, as the teacher. And suddenly, you discover that your teacher is just as bigoted and afraid as you are. Oh, and also you can move yeah. around the classroom now. So, yeah, this shows the anxiety of a teacher and everything. And I'm guessing that the yellow is showing what the students want to hear, and the black is kind of like the truths. Why can't I, like, I can't move up and down. What is the easiest and simplest path forward? There is no truth. There is no path. Do what is easiest. Do what is simplest. Feel what is true. Nothing. No one. I felt pretty hard for this one. Perfection. I feel like it's one of the most relatable experiences that yeah. you have. To uh, assume that some other person is perfect and totally fulfilled in every way and completely miss all of the little flaws that make them painfully human. Yeah. I think about this game a lot these days. January 2010. So the last one was September. That was a, that's a big gap. September. Yeah. Four month gap. This one took a lot longer than all the others for Coda to make. It was four yeah. months between this and the last one. That's twice as long as it took him to make any other game before this. And it's not like it's particularly complex. So I remember I found that a little strange at the time. Wow, this... It's it's a lot... Um, that last level about the how people perceive you and how you really are. That relates so much to us as YouTubers. Like, anyone that does YouTube, YouTube can tell you. Uh, when we're on here, we, we seem very confident, very upbeat and stuff. And people perceive us as that. But when they actually meet us, I think that they get the opposite end of the spectrum. Um, and I've gotten that from people that have come up and met me. Uh, who watched my channel and... I'm just as human as you guys, and I think that on YouTube people sometimes forget that. Um, but yeah, this game is starting to get very relatable. It's starting to hit me a little bit emotionally, so um, I'm sorry if, if I ramble on a little bit, but let's go to the stage. Whoa, Jesus. <laughs> Scare the fuck out of me. <laughs> the performance is beginning, places, please. In this scene, you'll be playing as me. We are at a gathering of professionals. Start by leaning against the wall. Good, stay right there. A woman across the room is in a chair. A professional pro 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 photographer of animals. It is your dream to photograph animals professionally. This is your one chance to learn something from her, to gain something, to succeed. Say something to her. Hello? Hello. That's it? That's not a conversation. 
You need to actually converse with her. Be a human. Do it again. Uh, I am super, super scared right now. Which I am. No, no, no. That's not what I said to her at all. You're completely missing the tone of the conversation. I was reserved, but I knew what I wanted. I was confident. For some reason, it was just in that one moment. To be confident. Whoa, what the fuck? It gave you props to work with as people around us. Okay. We represent the people nearby. Now talk to her. Whoa! Whoa, this is cool. Talk to her again. Um... What are some sacrifices you had to make? You're messing it all up again. You'll freak her out with a conversation that gets personal that quick. Do you not realize the, how important this was for me? I'll never get another opportunity like this again. Hmm. I want to try something. Try stepping back from the stage. Okay. My frame rate is starting to crash, so I'm sorry about that. Okay. Do I keep going? He's back to the prism thing? What the fuck? The game Man. ends with this eerie premonition of what's going to happen next in Coda's life. The solution to social anxiety, to fears of having to perform and having to chase success, the answer for Coda is to withdraw, to hide himself away. Which is what this leads is to creepy. scenarios like the stairs that slowed you down several games ago, where it just becomes harder and harder to access Coda's inner landscape because he keeps retreating. He just keeps backing away from possible connections to anyone other than himself. And to be honest, I didn't consider it very healthy when I first played this game. You know, it, it looked to me like he was trying to justify the idea of just disconnecting yourself from the world. And that wasn't what I wanted for him or for his games. Because I feel like a lot of his games are inviting me to connect. To connect with this person. To bring him closer. Uh, Holy shit, that just got do? intense. After this, Koda went off and took another five months to make a new game. Wow. June 2010. When did you say this goes up to? Uh, 20... Mobus trip to play this game properly. You need to keep your eyes closed. Click the begin button. Do I, do I actually close my eyes? Do I actually close them? No. Captain, what can we do? Uh, what's going on? I can't die like this. What do I do? Someone talk to me. What am I doing? I'm just running in random places. We're about to hit something. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, what the, what the? What's going on? They're both blind, okay. Uh, you should probably open your eyes if you haven't already. It's pretty much okay. impossible to solve otherwise. Yeah. And there is a solution, by the way. What do I... SS Whisper. The only way to stop this is to speak something that is honest. I can't keep making these? Whoa. This is him talking. Like I said, I was getting concerned. It's draining First me. off, he's never been this explicit in his work about exactly Whoa. what he's thinking. So, where's that coming from? Wow. But then even weirder, his work has potentially stopped being an outlet for him. Not like he's having trouble iterating on ideas, but he literally just can't think of new ideas anymore. And in person, he was being a lot more distant than usual. Like... You know how sometimes a person will just deflect I'm anything alone. that you say in order to keep themselves disconnected all the time? It was that kind of thing. We're going to be okay. Here was the point in my relationship with Coda where I really started to wonder if he needed my help in some way. His games are going to get more desperate from here on out. Wow. After this game, it's almost six months before he finishes something new. January, uh, 
December 2010. Wow. <laughs> that just got really, um, really dark really quick. Hello? How do I get out of here? Is that a person? How lovely. It's been a long time since I talked to anyone. What's wrong? You look lost. I'm completely out of ideas. When I try to create, I feel empty. I have nothing left to give to my work. Wow. This is really sad. Oh no. What's happened? Did something change? There was a machine that kept me going, and it stopped. I'm trying to find this engine that used to protect me, to start it again. Wow, this is... <sighs> Wait, you're looking for a machine. I think I know where it is. It isn't far. You have to take me to it. I need to see it. To know why it stopped. Wow. If I can take you to it. But there is Oda a talking explicitly about his creative problem. frustrations. This one turns it up to 11. If you can help me solve the puzzle, put yourself in my machine, shoes, please. Deal? Here's a friend whose work is exhibiting signs of struggle, frustration, anxiety, depression, even. And yet, still, he keeps making games. He keeps throwing himself into the grinder even when he clearly doesn't Perfect. have the energy for it anymore. I'll Why? What is it for? Because, from my perspective at the time, and, and just what I knew of him, this was a result of how isolated he was. He is the puzzle. He was in his own little bubble, just sitting at his computer all day, not really showing these games to anyone, I've solved uh, this not releasing before. them onto the internet, and so he didn't have anyone outside of himself to connect with. He had no outlet to ground himself on. First you have to open the door. Okay, now what? Now you have to close the first door. Alright, what's next? Press the switch here. That was you simple. You can't talk yourself out of loneliness. It doesn't wow. work that way. You can't be the one writing <sighs> both the questions and the answers. Then there's no movement. Then there's no circulation. If all of your anxieties are being channeled into your work, then if the work ever fails, you have no backup and you're just going to crash. These are just words on some walls. Trust me, you'll see. You have to say that your work is fun and easy. You have to say that game development is simple and joyous and that you love it 100%. Whoa. He's breaking... The, I get it, he's, he's breaking the rules. Um, but it isn't true. Don't worry about it, just keep talking. Keep saying that creation is easy. When I make games, I feel completely energized. That's wonderful. Keep going. Seeing this game at the time that he made it, it looked really unhealthy to me. I was watching him do this to himself, and I hated it. I hated seeing him so trapped. Every it's time like, I make something, I feel bad about myself. Video games are not worth this amount of suffering. Yeah. This is someone I really cared about. And I used to so every much single joy thing that I've said. Him create. For him to suddenly become angry and frustrated like this, it was the worst thing. Where's my me. machine? 
patience, you have to trust me. I promise this will work. Please continue. <sighs> Any sacrifices made for my work are worth 100% of the time. Yes. More. Keep I going. Know. This is what I felt at the time. I don't know how else to explain it. There is I no shame, no fear, more than no anything. guilt. I never felt so rotten. I just... I needed wow. more than I had ever needed anything for this to stop. Oh, it's so creepy with the noises and everything. Hey. There's another, there but was it another didn't person stop. there. After finishing this one, Coda takes another seven months and comes up with a new game. May 2011. <sighs> wow. The machine. God. Ma'am, glad to see you've arrived safe. We've captured the machine. It's waiting for you now. You can begin the interrogation. I intend to be quick. Very good. Just be warned that someone called the press, so we might have a bit of attention on this one. Also, one more thing you should know about the machine. It calls itself Coda. So this is like going inside of his mind right now, like, deep. This is like his mind. And of course, you stop the machine. Your work was keeping us healthy. Those people out there, can you imagine the pain you've put on them? It's because of your creations that any of us could make it through every day. So here's what's need to happen. You need to go to the people who are out there and apologize to them. You need to admit to people that you allowed them to suffer. You need to apologize. My friends. I have a troubling revelation. The machine will not apologize to us. But that is not important. We are stronger than it thinks we are. We need to find a way to live without it. We don't need its games. Wow, this is... Ah. <sighs> Let us play it retribution. Let us show it that we are not failures. Follow me and we'll destroy this, the machine. Follow me, we'll destroy everything that the machine has created. We'll destroy the machine? What is going on? You gonna turn the lights back on? It's a gun. No! No, 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 no!
Dakota, I'll make sure your work dies forever. Oh no. Isn't that what you so were afraid of having? So now the work is becoming self-destructive. And I'll oh, tell you, no. at the time that I first played this game, shortly after he made it, here's what I'm thinking to myself. I'm thinking that Code is stuck in his own head, and that it's having a very negative effect on him, and that all he yeah. needs to do is just start showing his work to people, to get some yes. actual feedback on his games. It might get him out of isolation. And so, as oh, I'm we're destroying this, each level. I realize that I could be the one to initiate it. This is so Because it would bad. never occur to Coda to start actively soliciting feedback, so what if I did it for him? If he could see the difference it would make to have more actual conversations with other human beings, would that bring him out of his mental spiral? Would it give him confidence in himself? Would it bring meaning back into his work? Oh no, I like this room. So I started showing Coda's work to people. I took this one, and the islands which you just played, the theater, the notes, the house cleaning game, and some of the prison escape games. I brought them to people that I knew and, and trusted. I asked their opinions. And the great part is that they really loved his games. You know, yeah. the point of it all was just to give them some external reference point, but they, they genuinely loved his work. There was nothing for him to be afraid of. Down your weapon. No. Can you see why I felt like this was the right thing to do? Because it's the thing that I always feel like I need to be told that my work is good, that I am good. When when someone really connects with a thing that I've made, when they see themselves purely in my work, there's nothing that feels better. And I got to give that very same feeling to my friend. I did something, I really felt like I'd done something good. Like, like I was a good person. I felt like there was a friend who was in trouble and was unhappy and, and maybe didn't like themselves and I could fix it. If I could give him this gift, maybe I could fix the problem. When they told me how much they enjoyed his games, it was the best feeling. It was the absolute best feeling. It, it made me do? feel so happy. Do I just so keep going? Beautifully, beautifully happy. Um I got tears in my eyes. So anyway, Coda finishes <sighs> this game and then really he just kinda takes off for a while. So this is June of 2011, and I didn't hear anything from him for several weeks, I guess. Um and so out of nowhere, one day I get an email, and it's got a private link to a new game of Coda's. This one is called The Tower, and the to tower. my knowledge, it's the last game that Coda ever made. So let's take a look. Okay. June 2011. Oh. I don't know why it's it's affected me so much. <clears throat> the tower. And this is where I have trouble saying anything meaningful about Coda's work. Because more than anything else, the tower just feels distant. It feels like yeah. it's trying to distance itself from the world. It's a very cold game. This room actually has a maze in it. Does it? Whoa, what the fuck? Except that all the walls of the maze are invisible. And then every time you touch one of the walls, there's this awful flashing and noise. So the experience is really miserable. 
The game goes beyond uh. not being meant to be played. It actually seems to despise the player for trying to play it at all. Okay. But I do want to show you the rest of the level, so when you're ready to continue, press enter and I'll put a bridge over the maze. Okay. Wow. I was gonna say what happens if I fall off, but I don't want to break the mechanics of the game. Ah, oh, okay. I was gonna say I don't want to break the mechanics of the game, but um... And to be fair, it's not like this is the first game that's needed some modification to be playable. Like yeah. the house cleaning game. You know, that one used to actually loop the cleaning chores and you just cleaned a house forever. I had to cut it off so that you could exit the house and the game would actually end. Wow. But that game had an idea that it was actually trying to communicate. What's the yeah. deeper idea behind the invisible maze? The only way past this challenge is to randomly guess the six-digit code. Okay. Like the Invisible Maze, it's frustrating to me, because it's the opposite of everything else that Coda has made. It doesn't encourage thought or engagement. It doesn't ask anything of me, except a lot of my time. If I could have reached him during this time, then maybe I could have asked him, but I couldn't. I still don't just really understand why this that. is here. I'll put the code on the ground for you here, though, so that we can move on. Oh. One five one six one seven. No, one six one seven. creepy the switch to open this door is actually on the other side of the door meaning that it's literally impossible to solve from this side ah. so even if you somehow brute forced your way through the first two challenges and you got to this point there's actually just no way to progress and it's scary for me the idea of Koda cutting himself off entirely just yeah. saying you know that's it that's the end of the conversation not giving me any way to fix the problem feel like a failure, I guess, when I can't fix the problem. But I can open this door for you, so let uh. me do that. Yeah, there it is. Was I a failure for not understanding this game? I mean, I don't know why I would be. It's not like everything needs to have a solution, but I feel it somehow. I feel like I failed. And I don't understand why. Whoa. I remember. It's June of 2011. I'm yeah. playing this for the very first time. Okay. And as I'm playing, I'm thinking to myself, I don't know this person. I have no idea who this person is. It wasn't the guy I knew. It wasn't my friend. I had come to so many conclusions from looking at all of his work up to this point, and then suddenly none of them... I had been trying to, though. That was the thing. For years, I was trying to get to know him, to understand who he actually was and, and what he stood for. I asked him so many times to please just tell me what his games mean to him. I asked him please to tell me what the three dots mean. Yeah. And he wouldn't. I just felt so strongly that if I could have connected with him, that if I could have somehow made his work my own, that I would finally be once and for all happy. It was that I needed to see myself in someone else. I needed to be someone other than me. But he stopped and left. And it felt somehow like I had failed. Where did I screw up?
Dear Davey, thank you for your interest in my games. I'm I need to ask you not to speak to me anymore. Games, aren't I? It's because of what I did. I poisoned it for you. Why is he telling him not to speak to him? I don't think I ever told you this, but when I took your work and I was showing it to people, it actually felt... <laughs> It felt as though I were responsible for something important and valuable. I wonder at times whether you think I am making these games for you. You're so infected my personal sp you've so infected my personal space that it is that it's possible I did begin to plant solutions in my work somewhere hidden between games and the people who played them they treated me like i was important they really listened and cared about what i had to say even though i was if, showing your work it was i felt good about myself if there Finally, was a meaning for a moment if there was an answer i had a meaning. That, i liked Shut myself up, Davey. If there was an answer, a meaning, would it make you any happier? Would you stop taking my games and showing them to people against my wishes? Giving them something that is not even yours? Violating the one boundary that keeps me safe? Would you stop changing my games? Stop adding lampposts to the- Davy's adding the lampposts? What? And then you would, stopped, and I didn't have anything left to show people. I, I just, just simply had to let them be what they myself. are. And as soon as that happened, there was no feeling at all. Nothing. Less than nothing. When I am around you, I feel physically ill. You desperately need something, and I cannot give it to you. I literally do not have it. Struggling to come up with new ideas is not making me depressed. Low points are just part of the process. The fact that you think I am frustrated or broken says more about you than me. I realize that this doesn't make sense to you just yet. Which is fine. You're not my problem to solve. But I do hope that one day it clicks, and that you make peace with this thing you are wrestling. I'm afraid that I did something really stupid because I don't like myself. And when you finally see what I'm talking about, don't say anything. That's why I'm releasing this collection of your work, is because I haven't been able to find any other way to reach you. I've tried everything. And so a part of me has hope that if I put this compilation out into the world, and if I put my name on it, that maybe enough people will play it so that it'll find its way to you, so that I can tell you that I'm sorry. I know I screwed up. Wow. If I apologize to you truly and deeply, Will you start making games again? Please, I need to feel okay with myself again. And I always felt okay as long as I had your work to see myself in. I mean, is, is something wrong with me? Because I know that I did an awful thing and I'm doing it again right now. Like I'm, I'm showing people your work, but I can't stop myself from doing it. That's how badly I need to feel something again. Like I'm an addict. There has to be something wrong with me. Can I apologize? What if I tell you I was wrong? Will that work? Will that fix it? I, I, I don't know. I don't think it will, but there's nothing else that I can do. Just tell me what you want. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, start making games again. Please help me. Please give me some of whatever it is that, that makes you complete. I want whatever that wholeness is that you just summoned out of nothing and you put into your work. You were complete in some way that I never was. was. closing in. And I want to know how to, how to, I want to know how to be a good person. I want to know how not to hate myself. Please. I'm fading, and all I want is to know that I'm going to be okay. Whoa. It's 
సరే ఎపవాగ్ more 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 it's like a disease solution 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 whoa <sighs> i guess if someone had told me ahead of time that he just really enjoyed making prison games maybe i wouldn't have thought he was so desperate i wouldn't have told so many people that he was depressed maybe he just likes making prisons even now the disease is telling me to stop don't show people what a shitty person you are they'll hate you wow this is something unexpected that i didn't think was going to happen If I knew that my life depended on finding something to be driven by other than validation, what would that even be? <laughs> It's strange, but the thought of not being driven by external validation is unthinkable. Like I actually cannot conceive of what that would be like. for days yes what now i think i need to go and i'm sorry cuz I know that I said that I would be here and I, and I would walk you through this but I'm starting to feel like I have a lot of work to do. I have a lot that I need to make up for. And yeah. so I'm just going to Okay. Wow. This is I got to hear
this just loop back around? Fuck is that? Oh, it's the uh, electric thing from the first first level. So we saw. It's the thing from the first level. <laughs> It was all a big maze. Wow. <sighs> Game was insane. That was a unique experience. That really was. Um, oh, I can't remember who sent it, the request uh, to me. Um, and I'm sorry that I don't remember your name, but thank you so much for recommending that. That was a really intense journey. And it made me reflect a lot on, especially my YouTube work. And, and, yeah. Wow. I hope that Davey does actually get to contact Coder again, and... I hope that he does get the chance through this game to apologize like he wanted to. Um, thanks for the recommendation. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I know that this has been a very long video. It's been going for over an hour and a half now. Uh, but thanks for sticking with me. Uh, I really appreciate it. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to favorite it. Don't forget to subscribe. Helps me out a lot. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys thought of this. As well. Because I'd really like to get your feedback on what, you, what was processing through your mind during this game. Until next time, I'm YouTube's PopeyJN. Peace out. Mary, go out to the street and fill up the pothole she found with the flowers that she pressed inside her diary.